Hey there, welcome back guys. Hey there, welcome back guys. Things got a little bit glitchy there on the teleporter. Um, just like my firmware update. Anyway, uh, in this video, we're going to be showing you how to format your SD card for the 4096 bytes per cluster so that you can update your Ender 3 S1 Pro. Hopefully this will work. Uh, apparently, uh, even though you format your SD card correctly using the Macintosh software, um, and for the DOS, MS-DOS FAT, and then put it in. It does work when you want to put files in, but apparently for the firmware update, there might be another extra step uh, that the folks at Creality uh, suggest. So without any further ado, let's move forward. Remember, this is on the Macintosh, okay, for the 4096 bytes per cluster, and hopefully that'll get the firmware moving so that we can actually update the machine. But they're aware with it. They're actually guiding me through the process, which is great. They've already asked for my proof of purchase, and you know what that means. Welcome back to everything that glitches. So hopefully, you know, we won't have to send it back, and um, you know, this process will just work and allow us to flash to memory. All right, come, let's go, let's get started on the machine. All right, so I'm gonna put in my SD card so it pops up on the hard drive to on my Macintosh. You can see it right there, it says untitled. I'll just highlight it once, make sure there's nothing in there. If you have stuff in there, be sure to copy it, okay? And uh, then erase your, your folder. So I'm just gonna get rid of this thing right here. And then go into your finder and type in disk utility. Um, and then you want to make sure, see where it says on title? That's our one right there. If you have more than one on title on your computer slash desktop, then make sure you're in the correct one, okay? So you just want to be here on the top layer. And then we're just going to click erase. Um, you want to make sure that you're on uh, here. So you're going to select format MS-DOS FAT, okay? And I'm going to rename this. I'm going to call it um, micro, M-I-C, micro SD. And I'm just going to click Erase, and it should rename it microSD. We'll have a little check, green check, if it does it. Hopefully, uh, there it is, right there. microSD, I'm going to move it over here so that we can see it. See that? microSD. Awesome. So we're off to a good start. Uh, and now what we're going to do is we're just going to close this out and open up the terminal. I took some notes from Reddit. Uh, I think I mentioned that earlier. So now your terminal will open up. And then you just want to just copy this uh, or type it, whichever works best for you. I'm just going to paste the text in, uh, disk utility list. And now we want to look for the name, micro SD card, which you can see is right there. See that? And it has a disk ID identifier of disk, oh, you know, right there, 6S1. So that we want to remember that number, okay? Uh, and that's for me. For you, it could be. Uh, something a little bit different. I'm just going to slide these over so that we can um, have a cut and paste experience. And I'll leave the uh, this uh, on the description of the video so that you guys can just copy and do the same thing that I'm doing. Okay. So, um, so what we'll do is what we want to do is we want to unmount it. Okay. So we'll just copy this uh, text on mount. We'll just uh, paste it in there and and press enter. Okay. So you see, it unmounted, right? And then um, after it unmount, press enter. Is it asking for my password? No, it's not asking for my password, which is a little bit odd because I guess it, uh, no, it won't ask for the password until the next half, okay? Because we just were right here where it said unmount, okay? And now we're just gonna go to the, um, we're gonna type this in, uh, sudo new fs underscore ms dos, and then space dash b, 4096 and then you have forward slash dev uh, disk 6 s1 it's for me remember this 6 s1 correlates to the micro SD so micro SD correlates to that if you name your disk Lewis it will be Lewis and then maybe it's one or whatever it is maybe it's Billy maybe it's Susan and then or Kathy and then you have that identifier okay so knowing that and moving forward we will uh, Hopefully this will work. We'll go to copy, and then we'll go to, we'll paste that in, and then press enter. See, it's gonna ask for your password, and then we go, don't share your password, okay? And then we'll just press enter, see? And click allow, if, if you have prompts like that. All right, so that, that means it did everything it did, because let's see um, if it did everything. Yeah, it looks like it did. Look, the fat cluster, Four, see, look right here, fat clusters, 
4096. Awesome. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to mount the disk so that we can see it again because it's not there, it's not visible. Hopefully it'll reappear where it was. Okay, let's go to Command C and then we'll just uh, paste that back in here. Okay, and then remember this is going to be in real time. Okay, and hopefully it mounts, right? Because that is the name of the disk. Uh, I don't see it, it didn't mount. Um, we type disk util correctly. Yes, we did. And let's just uh, let's go into another screen. See if we can uh, see it. We'll just close that out. No, never mounted back. Um, let's just um, let's see. Let's go back into the uh, terminal window and uh, disk util mount. Yeah, it was supposed to mount. Up oh, there it is. It just took some time. Wow. So instead of um, see, there's no name though which is, um, you know, I guess that's okay, right? I guess it just did what it needed to do to reformat everything into the format that's needed to uh, have the experience so that we could um, update the firmware, okay? So now let's go here. We're just going to open up that folder. It's empty. Uh, and right here is where I have my Ender 3 S1 Pro firmware. Um, so we're going to take the uh, this one, the private right folder and this folder right here whoops hold down the command key because that will allow you to select multiple items uh, and then we're just going to take that right and put it right in here okay and copy it over to the no name now we could reuse this again even though we're using the micro sd card right um uh we can just this the, the this card will actually fit into the printer too okay so let's update let's see if we can update the um the uh, what you call it? The screen, the LCD screen. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this out. But before we take it out, we're just gonna shut off the printer. Uh, there we go. The ambient noise is gone. Shut off the printer. Slide this up gently. Okay, and then just pull this out. So now that we've pulled that out. Uh, we're just gonna go back to our little work area slash studio where we can. Um, have a somewhat of a seamless experience. Let's see what we got there. We'll just tighten that a little bit. I'm going to use this thing because I know that it's really soft and there's no remnants of anything on there. Um, this is the regular SD card, but so that now we can bring this in a little bit, right? And then we'll just put this on the corner uh, and then look for our SD card first, actually, because what we want to do is we want, now that we're done with that, we know that worked. We know that terminal worked. And right here, see where it says no name? We're going to eject it because that's where the good stuff is. All right, that's how you do it. All right, so knowing that and moving forward. And now what we're gonna do is just gonna wipe off the surface, make sure there's nothing there, but it is a good surface. And now we're going to open it up. And now uh, this part's relatively easy and seamless uh, just brings me down memory lane hopefully hopefully this will work uh, it's too bad that um, the Macintosh doesn't allow you to format your SD card the way uh, Windows would need it to be and you would think that the, there would be an application that would actually let you do that but apparently there isn't um, at least one that I know of so there we are Whoops. Uh, make sure you keep your screws handy. Okay. Uh, thankfully, we're on a good surface. I can leave everything like that. And now I'm going to pull out the SD card. Remember, eject it. Um, I find with the Ender 3, whenever you pull an SD card out, um, it tends to not read the files that are on there. Why? I don't know. Um, but it looks like we'll be able to use this again because, look, we can use the um, we can use the SD reader, right, to um, put this put the SD card uh, micro SD card back in here, and then just put the necessary files for uh, the printer on here, and just insert this into the printer. If all goes well with this particular update, it snaps right in. See that? And now we're going to go back to the uh, printer, and hopefully, you know, just hopefully. You could, you know, to be on the safe side, 
um, so that nothing pops out, what we could do is we could just um, leave the SD card in there right now, right? And then just close it with one screw because it is a fragile piece of equipment, to be honest with you. And the last thing you want is for it to fall and drop. So you see one, one and done. All right. And it goes there and it goes there and to the top. So we'll just slide it in. All right. All right. So let's see. I think I'm going to add some more light in here so that we can see what we're doing. Remember, this is happening in real time. So no edits. Um, right. So that we can just see everything happening in um, real time. Move that move it back a little bit. Um, hopefully it doesn't slide. See that? I just want to me move the camera into its upright position so that we can just see what's happening. Once we know the camera's steady, I'll be able to um, pull it off so that we can get a better angle of it. All right. So we're just going to plug this out. I mean, pop it out and then put this in. Okay. And now remember we're doing the LCD screen first. Um, hopefully, hopefully, um, this will work. All right. So we'll just pop it on, turn on some lights. The lights are turn on on three, two, one. Wish us luck. Oh, look at that. It's, uh, we've got numbers before we had zeros. Hmm. No. Nothing. I mean, that's a zero, that's a zero, that's a zero. And, oh, there we go. Oh, wow. Download files. We didn't see that before. Okay. I guess we should just wait and let it work its out. We got it oh, zero, 01. We didn't have that before. All those numbers were zeros. So, you know, this could be that we're onto something. We're off to a possible good start. Uh, it says 2021, 10, 21. And then that's what it says at the top. So I guess we just we could just wait, right, and 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 let it hopefully do what it needs to do. Um, but we don't have that little bar. Uh, so, like you see in the video that they send you from Creality. Um, so you know that this doesn't necessarily mean anything. Um, but we can just let it sit for a bit and let it work some magic, um, if there is any magic that needs to be worked. Um, but. ICL files, um, there's no number there. It's possible that it's writing it and then, you know, we'll just let it, um, we'll leave it for a bit because sometimes, you know, some firmwares might take a little bit longer or require more time. Um, and, uh, oh, see, oh, wow. Interesting. File CR32. See, it's check. So good. So don't take it out if you see progress happening. Uh, it says flash, which is great. See flash CR C32 check zero zero. So I don't see any numbers. So again, you know, it's possible that nothing was flashed. Um, but again, we'll just leave it. Um, this could be how this particular firmware updates. Maybe there's no uh, progress bar. So you just have to wait uh, for it to, to, again, like I say, work its magic. Um, but other than that, you know, this is what I, what I see. I wonder if that can bring that down. Oh yeah, there you go. So you guys can get a better view. Um, output. Yeah. So we got output of zero and flash check zero. So hmm, bummer. Um, and it's weird because it says process end. You would think the process end would be at the bottom. Like, of course, when it ends, right? So why, why have process end at the top? So that part's a little deceiving. Um, but it says, um, yeah, flash check. Hmm. All right, so let's see. Well, that, you know, that's a sign. We didn't get any of this before. So we're, we're on to something, okay? All right. And then what we can do is, I'm just going to leave this here. Let's, you know, let's see if it... Um, I'm just going to get my uh, Allen key, leave that up there. Still nothing, but nothing but something, you know, like we're a little bit further, a little, we made some progress compared to um, the zero progress that we were making before. 
Um, so you know, I just had to get my little Allen, Allen key wrench. Uh, I believe that might be it. I'll just wait a little bit. Output files. All right. Well, let's uh, give it a shot, right? Hopefully, this is the last of it. Hopefully, it reboots. Uh, I'm just going to find that one bolt that needs to be taken off, right? And then we're just going to don't lose it. Make sure there are no drains nearby to where you're um, doing this. Otherwise, you might lose it. Um, so I believe we'll wait a little bit before taking the SD card, before shutting it, shutting it off. And But I guess it's done with everything. So we'll just shut this off. And presumably... Okay, we're going to take out the SD card. And um, remember, you can't take out the SD card without taking the um, connector off. So make sure you you uh, take off the connector from the back, which is right here. So we're just going to pull that out now that we unscrewed it, right? See? And now we can take the back off. Just uh, put that on the bottom if you have a shelf. And then we just, um, we're going to pop out the SD card. Uh, if it lets us, it should, you know, it's just a seamless process. We can put it, as long as your bed's not hot, put it on your bed. But uh, let's see, I'm going to put the back cover back on and trust the process, right? That uh, it actually is not bricked, all right? Fingers crossed. And hopefully the firmware will be higher than 2.0 dot eight okay and now we will um put it back in see that it's back in and now we're just going to turn it on fingers crossed the creatively logo will appear um it'll only really be the same or different hmm, looks relatively the same oh loaded pretty fast i've never seen it load that fast before so now we go to settings about no <laughs> still the same firmware um hv yeah um fdm 2s 1 yeah nothing nothing um let's try if we can see what happens if we flash the firmware of the um of the uh let's see if it'll print Ah, nothing to print, of course, because there's no SD card in there. It's like, oh my god, something's going to happen. Um, nope, nothing. All right, so let's um, put the files in that the, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, the uh, printer would need to update its firmware, right? So remember, no need to reformat this card because it's already been formatted according to the Macintosh through the terminal. But what we can do is we can... Um, uh, put it, where is it, where's the SD card thingy, um, if you have, right, oh, it's over there, so if you have your SD card um, reader thingy, which is this right here, right, so what we're going to do is we're going to take it, put the SD card back in here, right, like that, so you can see, we're going to put it in the computer. We're not going to reformat it, right? We're just going to um, delete one or two files that are on here uh, once they appear on the desktop. Let's see. We're going to take the uh, STM, okay, update uh, once it loads. We're just going to shrink this in a little bit and um, let it work its magic. Ah, oh, there it is. Of course, it's no name, which is fine. See, we're going to take these files, take one, and take two, and then delete it. Um, and then empty the trash, because remember, the files are always going to be attached to it, even if it's empty. So we'll just empty the trash. And remember, the file is still formatted. Um, SD card, I mean. And then we'll take this, put that in, 
And remember, don't pull it out. If you pull it out, it, does, it doesn't really do justice. Sometimes the, I find the printer doesn't really ha ha has trouble reading the SD card. Press eject, and then you, your files, nothing shows up until you go back into your computer, press it, uh, insert it again, and then eject it. All right, so here we are. We are back at the computer, not computer, the printer. And so I'm gonna take the SD card, but I'm not gonna put it in just yet. Remember, we have to shut off the power. All right, um, before I shut off the power, let's give you guys the um, full effect, the full experience. Let's see, bring that up here, okay? Um, and now what we're gonna do is, we're going to insert the SD card, all right? Plan B, and wish me luck on three, two, one. Hopefully it doesn't brick the machine, but that's the risk you take <laughs> when troubleshooting, right? It's always trial and error. The thing is, uh, it's not a computer where we can, oh, it's starting up, um, you know, have the ability to flash the software again, whereas this, we're kind of uh, limited. Oh, there we go, to the manufacturer about uh, nope, still the same, CR, FDM, ESF, 3 l nothing happened, all right, well, sort of, because this should have flashed it, right, so, um, now what we do is, after we did what we did with the, um, SD card, right, we turn it off, right, now that it's off, three, two, one, and then we take out the, uh, SD card, right, because it had that special flash thingy on there. And now we turn it on. And then maybe we'll see a difference. We'll just put this back down here. Creality. And. Hmm. Okay. Settings. About. Nope. Still uh, 2.0.8. 2F. 2.4 F and then, you know, uh, screen versions 1.0.2, um, and then you have here, uh, nothing changed. Um, but let's see if we can print something. If we go back home and hopefully, you know, nothing got screwy with the firmware, uh, but we'll know in a second after we, um, insert, uh, the SD card, right? Actually, we have one. We should have one laying around here somewhere. Another one with the um, with our with our goodies on there. But uh, that that one could be upstairs. But I don't want to waste any time. Ah, here it is, right here. But it's too late because I already put that one in there. All right. So moving forward, uh, let's uh, move this in. See the SD card. So now we know it didn't work. And what we're going to do is we're just going to delete this update file. This sort of like flasher and click here, empty trash, uh, empty it. I just want to print the fish, see if, if the fish prints, we'll just leave the printer as is. Um, and of course we have to go here, Let's highlight it since the camera's in my hand, I'll have to go here and select eject. All right, perfect. Now I can pull it out and let's see. Put it in. Let's do that. And then we go back to print. And there's the fish. See, no display or anything. Uh, go to print. And if that prints, we know that nothing got screwed up. And maybe after this, I'll just print the dragon. Um, I want to print as another fidget I want to print. Uh, you know, it's, a bu it's just a bummer that it doesn't work. We can always check to see what's happening here. So you can see the temperature needs to get to 200 and the um, bed needs to get to 60. So the nozzle is at 200. Sometimes what I'll do is I'll just do this so that I know my project's going to stick. When it's a bigger project, I'll do uh, heat the bed to 205 and then um, do the nozzle 65. And then it overwrites it after a couple of minutes. But the the goal to that is to get your project to um, adhere to the uh, the bed, um, and also you want to make sure that you know whoops that your bed is clean, right? In my case, my bed's clean. I cleaned it after, um, 
Oh, well, there we go. You know, you want to make sure the bed is clean. There we go. I don't know. Nothing's going to fall in it and in the way, like clear, so that when the bed goes back and forth, um, you know, it's not going to bump anything. And then you just go back. See? That's that. But there's one more file I want to try printing. I think it's still on my desktop. I'll just leave that pointing that way. I want to see if um, thumbnail prints too. Thumbnail might be on the other disc though. So we'll check it out and see once this prints. Um, Cause that would be kind of neat. If you can see the thumbnail. Apparently you're supposed to be able to see that with your update. Remember this file takes about two to three minutes to print. Um, I think maybe I'll just print one more and then just go to bed. We'll just pop a squat since it is late at night. And here we are. This is like the, the day and the night of every 3D printer, right? And you're like, ah, what's, what's wrong with it? Why won't it update? Why can't I do this? Why can't I do that? But this is good that I'm doing this version of the video and having formatted the, um, the, 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 the SD card. Um, see, the reason why it hasn't started yet is because, look, we're at 63 and I set the bed temperature to 65 because it is colder in here. Um, so, you know, you definitely want the bed to be warmer. There's, if you look straight ahead, there's a heater right there. Sometimes I'll put the heater in. Oh, it looks like we are almost good to go. See, so first it puts that first layer in uh, to like uh, clean the nozzle. Always check your nozzle. I always check. If you saw earlier, the camera went down like that. That's because I was checking the nozzle to make sure that um, there isn't any remnants of a previous project that went defunct. Uh, and there wasn't, which was good. Because sometimes what you have to do is when you do see the funk in there, you just grab a set of tweezers and you just pluck it out like a fly. I keep these in here to like clean out the head every now and again from the remnants that just goes in there. Well, this one prints pretty fast, as you can see, even though it flashed something but nothing and, um, you know, it was what it was, it is what it is, but things are still good to go. So I'm, I'll probably be able to print that dragon fidget but I'll just forever be running the previous uh, software. Uh, as you can see, um, there um, was no update, but you always wanna watch the first layer of anything that you print to make sure that things just don't go haywire. And just watch your thread, not thread, your, um, your filament, everything. I've seen some people have some uh, 3D attachments go there, but I don't know, I just, I, everything works. I don't need an attachment there, um, but, Apparently, um, they're supposed to work wonders, but um, I don't know. The only wonder I want is to be able to update my firmware. Uh, we're at 37%. Remember, this takes about, uh, four, this one, it tells you right there, it's going to take about four minutes, which isn't so long. Um, but sometimes it could be like a dream state time where uh, the project, let's see if we can, no, nope, nothing. It's hard to see. See? Yeah really hard to see but it is what it is we'll see it when it's um done usually bigger projects you'll be able to see a little bit better uh from any angle but as you, it's it's a fish so it's everything's printing under the extruder if that makes any sense so you'll never be able to see it but as you can see the temperature to the bed is still the same i mean it's at 65 and the nozzle adjusted the nozzle went to 200 and if it was a bigger print if I come back later, the temperature to the bed will be at 60. So, you know, it somehow manages to um, override your settings, which is great. And it just knows, uh, I guess it knows what you want in the beginning. And it goes back slowly to what it needs to be towards the end um, of your print file. And, you know, it's good to know because, uh, you again, I like that first layer hot. So it just, everything just um, like pancakes, just cooks really well with that golden crust, uh, but not you know, really crust, there's no crust here, you're not making pancakes, but you know, you kind of get the gist of it, so everything comes out nice, and it's like a smooth spread. I've seen this one woman, she had a freaking amazing spread on her uh, board, I was like, and, look, and it was even, even, I like, how the hell do you do that? And she's like, oh, I just use the default settings. Yeah, that would be nice, well, what are the default settings? A lot of people, like, assume that Everybody knows what the default said. Oh, you should know. Just leave the default settings. I'm like, yeah, yeah, if I knew, <laughs> I wouldn't be asking. 
but everyone has their own idea of default and not everyone's using the same slicer and some slicers you know are, are customized for different features etc so yeah on that note ah see finished at a hundred percent took about six minutes see that kind of neat and look at how the fish printed i won't take it off because i like my stuff to flick off um look at that printed beautifully so again nothing happened after the update but i want to see if there's another file on here just click finish see i'm just going to eject this disk right here we know that it's formatted um which is great through the disk utility i'm just going to insert this one here i want to see if there's a thumbnail on there oh there is a thumbnail nice i want to see what happens if i press thumbnail nope nothing happens I thought we were, I would get an image or something, but no, nah, nothing. And if we go to settings, about, mm, nah, zero. Then mm. this will be firmware version 2.0.8. I wonder if we press that. Um, yeah, bummer. And even if you could update it from the computer, you would want to update this too. Um, and as you can see, nothing happened there. All right, so now that we know that that doesn't work, um, I guess we can just move on. And, um, well, not all is lost when all is said and done. Uh, but at least we tried. We got a little bit of progress. We were able to see it, like, push a little something into the um, blue screen of death, and things were moving. We got numbers this time, some sort of metrics, um, but we didn't get any, um, any firmware update. So... You know, it's a little bit disappointing, but hopefully the folks at Creality will come up with another solution. Uh, if not, we'll probably have to box that back up. It will be a nightmare putting that thing back uh, together. Taking it apart will be easy, but shipping it away. Uh, but we will to focus more on the uh, drone videos. We still have more drone videos coming up, and someone had asked to, uh, if they could actually see the drone flying. And yes, you will. Not this drone, the other drone. There was a, one of the comments made for one of the other videos about the drones and uh, yes we will get that I actually have some footage from the Six Flags Great Adventures which is great and I have some footage from um, another meetup that I had done uh, which was awesome I always join a meetup meetups are great for flying because a lot of the guys know what they're doing and you know they always give you tips and tricks and you always learn something new when you're there or sometimes you might teach someone something new um, while you're there anyway I hope that um, this video helped you in formatting your SD card because even though you might not be able to use it for your Ender 3 S1 Pro, at least now you know how to format it um, via the um, you know 4096 bytes per cluster so that it's similar to that experience um, and requirements needed for your PC. Anyway, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below or ideas for other videos. Remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you all next time.